That's all you care about, Archie, is what you got and how you can keep it. Oh, well, you'd care about it too, Sonny Boy, if you had anything. <laughs> you wasn't living off of me without a pot to peel a potato. <laughs> The letter is between a citizen and his government. And I've heard you say it a hundred times, Archie, the government works for me. That's right. I said the government works for me, not you, me. <laughs> the government works for taxpayers and breadwinners and people who contribute to society. He's always late, except after coffee in the morning. Six minutes later to the second, watch out. And God forbid I'm in there shaving. <laughs> Listen, the workers in nature won't wait for no deadbeat who takes all morning to shave. Hey, remember this. I'm married. You give my daughter a baby and you can't even support a goldfish. All right, I'll pick up some tile cement and fix it tomorrow, okay? Oh, listen to the boy eat it. He's actually threatening to do something around here. Yeah, but Archie, that, that's outmoded thinking. It doesn't work. In today's society, if something doesn't work, you throw it out. Well, you don't wake. Maybe we better throw you up. <laughs> oh, jeez. And what's more, I'm proud of my husband. At least he takes some responsibility for what's going on in this world. What about wake? <laughs> That's one of the things going on in this world. When is he going to take some responsibility for that? If Michael gets arrested, they'll book him and fingerprint him and he'll be on his record. And then when he goes to look for a job... When? 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 <laughs> Dinner's already. Yeah, well, first you better tell the captain of the Polish unemployment team. <laughs> well, I mean, if you have a problem, maybe I can help you with it. My problem is about wake, which you don't know nothing about. <laughs> Yo tengo un cuarto. Yo tengo un cuarto, I have a room. You got a cuarto for which you don't pay no rent, though. <laughs> It is your duty as a citizen to come forward and be a witness. That's okay for students and the unemployed. But in your case, is one and the same thing. Your thing just happens to be grubbing for a living in this polluted, grime-ridden city? And your thing is sponging off of my thing. Daddy, Mike did something nice for Amelia. Now Amelia's doing something nice for Ma. Uh, yeah, she earned that cape. Ah, uh, listen, sonny boy. In the first place, earning is a subject you know nothing about. <laughs> Your Honor, as the bailiff's wife, I object to this kind of language. That's right, and I suggest that Mr. Bunker be held in contempt of court. Until you start paying rent around here, you're in contempt of house. <laughs> oh, no, you ain't applying for no job. A woman's place is still in a home. Oh, that's ridiculous. Besides, it's only three days a week behind the cosmetic counter at Kressler's. Yeah, Arch, it'll mean a few more dollars coming into the house. <laughs> Look, Archie, you better go down to that tax office. If you wait for them to come after you, they could throw the book at you. What do you know about it? You ain't gonna see the inside of a tax office as long as you live. How was your day? I don't want to talk about it. Well, then, how was your day, Mike? Well, like all his other days, unemployed. Michael, this check is only for $275. Yeah, well, well, it explains here that they took out the difference to recover my uncle's back taxes. Oh. Gee, oh, oh. almost half. I don't believe it. Wow. I never thought I'd live to see the day when the meathead would have a tax problem. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That, that's your money. That's not mine. Michael, that's our money. We each contribute in our own way. That's right. You contribute deposits, he contributes withdrawals. Hi, <laughs> Arch. Aye, aye, where's Gloria? Oh, she said she'd stop by on her way from work. I wish you could say you'd stop by on your way from work. I'm not gonna stay in this house another minute. Between you and your father, you're driving me crazy. Out there, I will be able to get a little freedom. I will be able to get a little privacy. You'll be able to apply for a little welfare, too. <laughs> there are not many guys who would quit school to help support their families. <laughs> get to be my age, you learn that there's more to marriage than just kissing. Like what? Like making a living. <laughs> I'm not talking down to you. You're just being stupid. Oh, 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 now I'm being stupid, huh? But I'm smart enough to bring on the paycheck. Oh, oh, oh. That's a great shot she got. Oh. Oh, I'm not sure that the house next door legally belongs to you. Will huh? you uh, shut your mouth? Don't pay any attention to anything this guy says. He don't even wake. <laughs> Oh, 
this ain't a beautiful sight for a working man to come home. <laughs> I don't understand. Why can't Mr. Quigley stay with us for a couple of days? Because I already got one free loader with me and bread's up ten cents a loaf. <laughs> Mr. Morrison, I want to ask you something. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Morrison. Don't pay no attention to this college boy, huh? Mr. Morrison. A, he's unemployed, and two, he don't wait. <laughs> what is that, the latest in dinnerware? <laughs> the little accident I had down at work, a word that's foreign to you. <laughs> Rip Van Meathead. Yeah, have you seen the latest unemployment figures? I'm looking at an unemployment figure right now. Well, Arch, respect has to be earned. Well, so does a living, but that don't mean nothing to you. If I had your attitude, I'd go live in a cave. You'd live anywhere that was rent-free. <laughs> It just means that you're not supposed to talk about anything that your partner is sensitive about. Like, I'm not supposed to mention the fact that I'm working to support Michael. Uh, careful, Gloria. You know that I'm the breadwinner and he's the freeloader. Gloria. You're right, I'm a crook. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Don't say you're a crook just because of him. He'd be taking stuff on from white, too, if he only had white. <laughs> I'll probably live long enough to see them put a man on Mars. What if they do that next year? <laughs> what I won't live long enough to see is a meathead on a payroll. Well, I'm complaining too, Daddy. I hate your cigar smoke. El Stinko. Little girl, let me tell you, there's an old saying, never bite the hand that feeds your husband. <laughs> Your hair smells like the inside of a cab. If he's got such a terrific sniffer, why don't he sniff out a job for himself? 